a man who is known in history as an awesome poet, playwright, and more. Stay tuned for fun facts from the biography of Langston Hughes. Fact number one, Langston Hughes had an inspiring grandmother. His grandmother, Mary Langston, was the first black woman to attend Oberlin College in Ohio, and many believe his poem, Aunt Sue's Stories, was a tribute to her inspiration of working hard to help provide for her family. With fact number two, a train ride would inspire Langston and end in success. This is where on a train ride to Mexico, Langston wrote, The Negro Speaks of Rivers. His works would later go on to be published in W.E.B. Du Bois's Crisis Magazine and later reprinted in Literary Digest. With fact number three, Hughes continued to write poetry and people loved him. In 1925, Hughes's poem, The Weary Blues, hit big. This is where he won first prize in the Opportunity Magazine Literary Competition, and Hughes also received a scholarship to attend Lincoln University. With fact number four, it's all about travel. Although Langston Hughes is known in history for being a major part of the Harlem Renaissance, in his life he traveled around the world. As a child, he lived in Missouri, Kansas, Illinois, and Ohio here in the States, and also with his dad in Mexico. He also traveled on ships going to places like Africa, Holland, France, Italy, Haiti, Cuba, the Soviet Union, Asia, and more. With our final fact, Langston Hughes had a ton of literary works over his lifetime. From 1920 until his death in 1967, he wrote his two autobiographies, two novels and nine children's books, 16 volumes of poetry, three short story collections, at least 20 plays, and much more. All right, my friend, that's all for me with fun facts about Langston Hughes. If there are fun facts about Langston Hughes you would like to share, let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching Fresberg Cartoon.